A History of the Yoruba People. S. Adabanji Akindi. Preface. My objective in writing this book is to place in the hands of the Yoruba people, in the hands of students of Yoruba and African history, and in the hands of the general reader, a lucid account of Yoruba history, using the products of the latest research on the subject. Writing such an account has been far from easy. The volume of research on the subject is large and continually growing, and many partly unresolved issues of fact and interpretation litter the field. Therefore, the urge for me to write an account addressed only to academic historians, my own colleagues, has been very difficult to overcome. I can only hope that I have overcome it to some extent, by, among other things, trimming down on the more difficult controversies as well as on complex cross-referencing and footnoting that might distract the general reader, and that the volume that has hereby resulted goes a long way to fulfill my objective. With a population variously estimated at between 30 and 40 million, the Yoruba are perhaps the largest single ethnic group, or nationality, in black Africa. Moreover, their history is one of the most researched and analyzed of any people in Africa. For this latter fact there are various reasons, of which one is the traditional structure, and the consequent historical consciousness, of Yoruba society, another is the high level of literacy among the Yoruba people today, and yet another is the growing importance of Yoruba studies in the overall spectrum of African and Black studies. The Yoruba were the most urbanized people in the history of the tropical African forest lands, having largely lived in walled cities and towns since as early as the 11th or 12th century. In those towns and cities they evolved a sophisticated monarchical system of government, whose governing elites established detailed institutions and processes for preserving society's history and passing it on a circumstance that has both encouraged and facilitated the study of Yoruba history in our times. Then, since the beginning of the 20th century, the Yoruba have invested more in education than any other African people and, by the end of the 20th century, were widely regarded as the most literate people in Africa. A significant consequence of this growing literacy has been that much indigenous effort has gone into the writing of Yoruba history. Venturing into written reconstruction of the past began as soon as there were some literate Yoruba in the 19th century, then it flowered vigorously in the course of the 20th century, and it has been augmented by contributions from many professional historians, indigenous and foreign. Finally, to black people in general, and especially to the people of the black African diaspora in the Americas, in the United States, Brazil, Central America, Cuba, Haiti, Trinidad, and other parts of the West Indies, a knowledge of Yoruba history has been growing in importance. This is not merely because of the size of the Yoruba population, but also because of the high level of civilization attained by the Yoruba people in the past, the growing knowledge of Yoruba contributions to black cultures in the New World and the continued dynamism of Yoruba civilization in modern times all of which have attracted increasing interest into Yoruba research. The present book is an attempt by a student and teacher of Yoruba and African history to synthesize for popular education the data that has become available to us on Yoruba history at the beginning of the 21st century. It is a product of my lifelong participation in the development of Yoruba and African history studies in universities in Africa and the United States. I offer it in the humble hope that it will contribute something to the growing knowledge of Yoruba history in particular and the history of Africa and black people in general, that it will provoke further interest in Yoruba and African history, and, above all, that it will increase the Yoruba people's love of, and romance with, their impressive and fascinating heritage. Because most of the Yoruba people have lived in the modern country of Nigeria since the beginning of European imperialist rule over Africa in the early 20th century, there now exists a tendency to write of the Yoruba as if they are entirely a Nigerian people to the dismay of those who are now citizens of the republics of Benin and Togo. The Yoruba people and country are split by two international boundaries, and while the largest portion is to be found in Nigeria, some substantial parts are to be found in Benin and Togo. This book presents a history of all Yoruba people. Finally, I have added a somewhat novel dimension to the perspective of this work. As professor of African history at the Obafemi Awolawo University, Ila Ife, Nigeria, in the 1960s and 1970s, I designed and taught an introductory course in African American history, and, during a sabbatical in the United States, I worked with others to establish an African and African American studies program at the University of South Florida in Tampa, Florida. Later, when I served as director of the Institute of African Studies at the Obafemi Awolawo University in the late 1970s, we initiated some programs on the African diaspora in the Americas as an integral part of our multidisciplinary approach to African studies. All these stemmed from my belief that a study of the experience of Africans transplanted to the Americas in the era of the Atlantic slave trade needs to be seen by scholars and peoples of Africa as a part of the African experience in general. In recent years, happily, 
considerable advances have been made worldwide in the study of the African diaspora in the Americas. Since the 1990s, that study has moved beyond the computing of the numbers of Africans transported to the Americas, and beyond the impact of American slavery on enslaved Africans, it has deepened to include studies of the contributions of transplanted African heritages to the evolution of African American and American cultures. In the context of this deeper approach, much light has been thrown on the contribution of the Yoruba heritage in particular to the development of the cultures of the African diaspora in the Americas. People of Yoruba descent, and the heritage of Yoruba civilization, constitute a very significant component of African American cultures in most parts of the Americas. Therefore, I have ventured to include a short chapter on the history of the Yoruba diaspora in the Americas in this book to highlight the unavoidable continuity between the history of Africa and the history of the African diaspora in the hope that the Yoruba people in the West African homeland will become more actively interested in the history of their people across the Atlantic, and in the hope that black people in the Americas will become more proactive in searching and proudly interacting with their African roots and heritage. December 2008 Acknowledgements I started to sketch the outline of this book in 1978 in the Department of History, Obafemi Awolawo University, Nigeria, at a time when colleagues in that department, in collaboration with other departments, we're working on a research project focused on a systematic collection of Yoruba oral traditions. I finally completed the writing in retirement in the United States from early 2006 to the end of 2007, utilizing my research notes spanning four decades as well as the rich spread of research work by many historians, now available in monographs, composite books, professional journal articles, and unpublished papers and theses. First and foremost, therefore, I acknowledge my indebtedness to the Department of History at Obafemi Awolawo University and to my colleagues in the department, among whom it was always easy to think great thoughts and dream great dreams. Among these colleagues, I must highlight for special mention Dr. Diagbo Akinjogbin, for many years chair of our department and pioneer of many of our joint research programs, and my friend, Dr. Charles Arnotti, for years chair of international studies at the University of South Florida, Tampa, Florida who worked with us at IFE as visiting professor in the 1970s and became very helpful in the development of my efforts in African American and American history. I wrote the manuscript of this book, as I did my earlier books, in longhand and that means that I received a lot of help from my close friends in word processing on computer. While thanking all for their invaluable assistance, I must express particular gratitude to Mr. Olorimio Yeyemi, a Nigerian journalist now living in exile in the United States for his intense interest in, and unflagging encouragement of, this work. Throughout the months that I worked on completing this book, my wife, Fintola, and our sons enthusiastically supported and encouraged me, and took turns to read parts of my draft. I am grateful for their loving support. This book represents, for me, the final harvest of my career of studies in Yoruba history. For that reason, I hereby acknowledge the contributions to my academic career by the men who, in my undergraduate years at the University College, Ibadan, Nigeria, in the late 1950s, first ignited my interest in the study of African history my professors Kenneth Dyke, J. F. Adeajayi, Abdullahi Smith, J. D. Omer Cooper and Abiyadar Bigbe. Of these, Professor Ajayi went on to supervise my graduate studies, showing great understanding of and patience with my other wide interests, and continuing ever after as my mentor and friend. In the course of the past two years, I have depended on my favorite local library, Indian Valley Public Library, Telford, Pennsylvania, for a heavy program of interlibrary loans. I am very grateful to the staff of this wonderful institution for always making their services promptly and smoothly available to me. I am very grateful to the following historians of African and Yoruba history for kindly reading my manuscript and offering important comments and suggestions, Dr. J. F. Ade and I. E., Emeritus Professor of History, University of Ibadan, Nigeria. Dr. Elisi Sumani, Professor of History, Department of African History and Archaeology, National University of Benin at Abomi Kalawi, Benin Republic, now retired, Dr. R. C. C. Law, Professor of African History, Stirling University, Stirling, Scotland, Dr. Toyin Falola, the Francis Higginbottom Nale Centennial Professor in History, University of Texas at Austin, Texas, Dr. Fonso Afalayan, Associate Professor of History at African Studies, University of New Hampshire, Durham, New Hampshire, and Dr. Adebayo Oybaid, Professor of History, Tennessee State University, Nashville, Tennessee. I also thank Dr. Elisi Sumani for his assistance with some of the materials relating to the history of the Yoruba of Benin Republic, Dr. Deli Agbeet of the Department of Agriculture, State of Maryland, for his help with some of the maps, 
Dr. Yi Wola Oyel of the Linguistic Data Consortium, University of Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, and Dr. Mayo Ogdemjib of the Department of African Studies, Temple University, Philadelphia, for their assistance with the Yoruba orthography employed in this book. Finally, I give glory to God for all the help I have received while working to complete this book, and for the health and strength to bring it to this successful conclusion. December 2008